You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and today I have Dawn Fontaine. Dawn, welcome back. Oh, thank Good you. Good to see you. Family Glad to be Center, here. community connections, all of that. All of that. Um, you are how long down at 1367 Main Street? This we're celebrating our first year. Okay. Uh, we completed one year at 13. Before that was the garage that we used to be at. You know, we didn't have any space. But now uh, the Converge Christian Center is our landlord, and they have uh, graciously given us some great space. And we want to celebrate that on September 10th. So a new lease on life, so to speak, right? <laughs> yeah, September 10th, yes. which is a day before a solemn day, which is September 11th, to remember what happened that day. Mm -hmm. You On the 10th, you're going to have fun. Yes. 11 to 3, okay? And it's not just one event, it's two events. So, yes, so tell us really about is, uh, your open house first. Okay, so the Family Center is gonna have an open house. We're uh, celebrating our new home, the first year in our new home. Uh, we'll have local agencies come out and um, give information. We have uh, staff from the Attorney General's office gonna be uh, coming out and answering questions and taking complaints. Uh, actually, the last time they were with us, they took 48 complaints from mm. the community. We also have National Grid and Self Help that will be uh, side by each or side by side, and uh, they will be answering questions and helping people if you want to um, uh, do an application for fuel assistance or if you need a plan for the winter. Um, both of those agencies will uh, help you through that. Um, we'll have face painting, there's an obstacle course, there's going to be a cookout with some hot dogs and um, just, just fun for the whole family. The obstacle course is one of those blow up um, obstacle course is about 40 feet long, mm -hmm. so that should be a lot of fun. And it's rain or shine, um, 11 to 3. Uh, if it's uh, raining, we'll be inside. We'll set up people inside. If it's sunny out, we'll all have our tables outside, and it should be uh, lots of fun for everyone. I'm hoping to have some backpacks also for that day, mm -hmm. um, and if I get my um, people to do a donate, then they will be filled with school supplies. But right now we have over 100 backpacks that we're ready um, to give out to um, students in the area. A lot of school supply drives going on right it's now. It's great, isn't it? Because school supplies, people don't realize with them that um, sometimes if the kids don't have the money for the school supplies, the teachers take it out of their own pocket they and they'll donate. Um, there's, there's all sorts of so blessings in a backpack, a couple of a school committee member, former school committee member, different people around the community. There's all sorts of Facebook drives. I was up away on vacation. The church that I was at, they were doing a school supply drive. So it's it's really needed because nice. they're not cheap. School supplies are usually only cheaper right around school, back to school time. And then that <laughs> box, that 10 cent box of crayons is 250 or, right. or whatever. I know School on Wheels does, does a great job right. with uh, the school supplies for people who are homeless or displaced. So uh, you know, just trying to help out in the community. And again, like you're saying, the teachers are the ones that Willie will uh, pitch in, so um, and they can't afford it either. So nice if anybody has some extra pencils. I know my daughter you know, goes to a birthday party and she has uh, pencils galore that she'll never use, so we'll donate those, and anybody else who wants to donate, come on down. Now, it says on here, please call us to let us know you're coming. I know you can just walk in, you can. but it would be better if you had some kind of account. So what's the phone number? It is 508-857-0272, and that just helps us with the food. Since we are supplying hot dogs and the church is supplying some food, it just helps us get an, um, an idea of how much we should be purchasing. But again, if you dropped in and came for the fun, we certainly wouldn't ask you to leave. We never do that. Nope. Um, no matter if it's about open house or anything that we do for the community, uh, you walk in, we're going to help you. Now, besides the um, open house, there's also, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say it four times fast like you challenged me to do, but it's Faith Fun Fitness Fair. Correct. Okay, same time that the church group is putting on. Right, correct? the Converge Christian Center and um, uh, the Family Center decided to do this event together. Ours is more like the open house to celebrate our new home, and theirs is just to um, demonstrate health and wellness in the community and, and just collaboration about um, bringing information to the community. Ours will be more on like self-help in the National Grid and, and the Attorney General's office. And theirs is, um, I believe, if I remember correctly, it's um, Signature Health, Good Sam's. So there'll be blood pressure checks and things for wellness on their events. YMCA, I see uh, YMCA there. will be there. And I know I'm missing somebody, so I'm... I'm the Brockton Health Center. Brockton Health Center. So they're going to have um, activities. They'll also have food. Theirs will be a little bit healthier. 
Um, I think they're doing carrots and vegetables and things like that. Uh, there'll be plenty of water, health screenings. Uh, again, community resources. We're having uh, free gifts, prizes. Both events are free. Everything that we do here is free um, to the community. We never charge. Now, uh, your group, a lot of volunteers, a lot of parent involvement, uh, community involvement. Do you need any help that day oh. to put this on? Well, we always take volunteers. Um, I love volunteers. Uh, once I get them, they usually don't go away either. I usually rope them into something else. But we need to set up tables. We'll probably set up tents, especially if it's outside, if it's sunny. Um, cleanup is always an issue. You know, at, by the end of the day, everybody's so tired, they don't want to do anything more. Mm -hmm. So, you know, even sometimes I have the kids. Um, it doesn't matter what age you are, you can always volunteer. And I would have the, um, the kids, you know, pick up trash, pick up a couple of things on the ground. If every child picked up five things, we'd have the whole place cleaned. So um, I don't ever say no to volunteers at any time, but um, it really is a resource fair. It's really for the, the community to get together, um, share a hot dog, share a you know, cucumber, whatever it is that you like, and just get to meet each other and uh, find out what resources are available um, to help you have a better, safer, happier life. And the uh, Family Center, you guys help all sorts of people from all different walks of life between the Clemente program with education, the grandparents group. Raising Raise, grandchildren, I know yep. one of my good friends is involved in that over Great. there. Great. Um, because there's a lot yeah. of grandparents yeah. that are raising their grandchildren. grandchildren. Yeah, so we run a, um, a support group um, of grandparents raising grandchildren. We have activities for the children and we provide a slight dinner uh, for the whole group. Most of the things that we run, Parenting Journey, will be starting up in September. Again, it'll be uh, an activity for children, the group for the parents, and food for everybody. Um, we like to reduce barriers for people to be able to come out and get the help that they need or want. And some of the barriers usually are, if you're running something at six, if they run home to get dinner and come back, they're running late, they're stressed, we don't want to add to anybody's stress. If you want to or need to go to a parenting group, a nurturing father's group, and you have to do childcare, that adds stress. So why would we do that? So we have a nice play area, and uh, we do crafts and different things there for the kids. Uh, we are not a um, babysitting service. So you for can't the, drop off. No drop off, drop with. So for the drop child off. to play, the parent must stay. <laughs> there you go. Now, last thing, website, so people can look at it all. You guys have great resources. You have a magazine that comes out quarterly. Yep but you have a website. We also do. Uh, the Community Connections of Brockton, um, ccbrockton.org. Um, you can connect with us through the website. We are revamping it. It's a little bit old. Um, we're working with uh, Stonehill and some other people to make it pop and make it more friendly. Um, but yes, we have a Facebook page for Community Connections and the um, website. And a TV show that you can come on anytime. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you, Thank Thanks you. for coming by. You're watching Greater Brockton. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.